Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing my third update for my Pan That palette for 2020, the Blood Sugar palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. If you missed my intro for this project, I'll go ahead and throw it up in the cards. It kind of explains my uh, like mindset around this project, why I chose this palette, and just what my goals are, because I'm not aiming to finish the whole palette. I'm aiming really just to hit pan in every shade, and that does make a bit of a difference, especially when I have so many shades in here. So if you haven't seen that update or that first intro video, please check that out. I've made a bunch of progress. Like just not only are we just like quarantined now and I am like here just playing with makeup and everything. I'll get into all of that where this is actually the end of my pre-filmed videos. I had quite a few videos pre-filmed because originally I wasn't going to be home for a good week and a half in March which didn't happen. <laughs> so we're at the end of the pre-filmed videos. I'm filming this Saturday and this video will be going up Sunday. So most of the videos you're gonna be seeing from me now are gonna be basically in real time. So before I jump into all of that, along with the look that I actually recorded for this video, because a big pro, a big win for me, is I finally found a way to make the shimmers in this palette work for me. I'm excited. So let's go ahead and show this uh, the blah, 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 blah. so let's go ahead and show the slideshow of what my palette looked like in all of my previous updates. And this is what my palette looks like now. Can you see we actually finished an entire shade? This entire white shade, gone. It's good. <laughs> it's gone. I expanded the pan in this shade right here, and I finally hit pan right over here. Ugh. And I'm actually very, very close to hitting pan in these two shades. Ugh. Like, just look at this. This is... So exciting. And I honestly, I think now that we're in quarantine, essentially, I want to experiment more with these shades that I would never really wear to work or really out of the house, kind of. So I think this month I can get a lot done with this palette. So I finished one shade, which, like I said before, my goal isn't to finish shades, but it is still nice to actually have an entire shade finished. Just, I don't know, it just makes the palette look so like nice and loved and well used. I love it. I finally hit uh, pan in Tongue Pop, the shade right over here that I almost hit pan in my last update, but not quite. And I'm really happy with that progress. So I think the next two shades, I think this is going to be the next shade I'm actually going to hit pan on. I've got a big dip in it. And then this one, I've got some progress in, but I don't see it as big of a dip in this one. So honestly, I think the next shade I'm going to hit pan in is this one right up here. Or maybe even one of the shimmers. So I want to tell you guys all about how, uh, thanks to some of your help, I finally found some ways to make these shimmers work for me. Because if you've seen my other updates, I don't like these shimmers. <laughs> They don't work that well with or without a glitter glue, which is kind of my go-to. I love the NYX glitter glue. So if a shimmer doesn't work well for me on its own, then I use the glitter glue and it typically works, right? Mm. Not with these shimmers. If I used a glitter glue, it actually kind of looked worse than if I just like used them like by themselves. So let me tell you, I've got two new foolproof ways to use these glitters so that they look beautiful and last throughout a full day on my hooded eyes. Now, the first one is just a different type of eye primer than I'm kind of currently used to. I had someone comment, I, I'll try to find the comment, it was a while ago now, but thank you so much because this literally was a game changer for me. Someone commented and said that they use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese as a primer for these glitter, shimmers, <laughs> not glitters. And so I saw that, like this was weeks ago, and I was actually about to place an Ulta order, and I saw that, and I threw this into my cart and picked it up. So I've been using it since then. I've experimented in a bunch of different ways, and you'll actually see I did a demo of both of these different ways to use the shimmers. Uh, you have to use this as an eye primer for your entire eye. So on this side, I used the cottage cheese, and then on this side, I used the other method we'll talk about in a little bit. So I use this as an eye primer all over. And then as it's still tacky, I don't set it yet. When it's still tacky, I apply the shimmer straight on top of it. And then I set the rest of the primer 
with a face powder with a shadow and then I kind of go in and do my normal thing and it makes the sh it just stands out it's it's gorgeous it makes it really like pop and it lasts throughout a day so definitely gonna continue using this cottage cheese shade it really made me reevaluate the way I do shadow because normally I do like shimmers last I like to go in with my mattes really blend them out and then go in with the shimmer but this is kind of forcing me to go in with the shimmer first and then work around it but it's still really pretty so it got me out of my comfort zone I like the way that it looks and it lasts throughout a full day so thank you thank you thank you for that tip this is awesome and this I love these uh jumbo eye pencils from Nick 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 <laughs> from Nick's they're really affordable and this one because it's a sh a shimmer pencil it's got tackiness to it and so it really works so well to you know make these shimmers pop and I've tried it with all three of the shimmers so we've got that dark brown bronze we've got the light pink and we've got the like peachy kind of pink this works for all of them my next tip is one that I kind of just experimented with and tried on my own and I, I like the way that it looks it's a bit extra to make the shimmers work but they work and I've already had these products around so I'm gonna continue doing that this method just uh, sees me doing my normal eye makeup. I prime with whatever concealer I'm using to prime. I set the primer. I do my mattes the way I normally would. Now, before I put on my shimmer, I go in with any type of liquid shadow. I like to use the Stila Glitter and Glows and these ones from CoverGirl, and I try to match it close to the lightness of the shimmer that I'm wearing that day. So this one from CoverGirl, this is shade number one. It's kind of dark, but it matched perfectly with the bronze I'm wearing on my eyes today, this dark bronze. So what I do, you'll see in the demo, I put this on where I kind of want that shade to go, and before it dries down, I apply the shimmer on top. And it really also, it works as a great primer. It makes it pop. It lasts throughout a full day. I've tested this out again with each one of the shimmers, but for this method, you have to use a different shimmer shadow. Like if I went with this shimmer shadow with a lighter shimmer from the palette, it would look weird. So you have to pick a uh, liquid shadow that matches as close as you can to the original shimmer shadow. So this one works best for the... Um, deep bronze shade right here. For these two shimmers, I found that the really light uh, White Lies collection from Stila works really well underneath these two. And they pop, they look gorgeous, they last throughout a full day, and I'm happy, I'm so happy with them. So yes, it is a little bit extra work, but I'm so happy I finally found at least two separate ways to make these shimmers work for me. And to show you that actual process, I did film this look that I'm wearing today. So let's go ahead and jump into how I was able to do both of these new methods on my face. On my face. On my eyes. A steamboat sailed ashore it was calling me aboard And as I climbed inside I saw you sitting there In a daydream you were lost But you saw me through the fog Try to hide behind your paper and your pen, but you laughed instead. Oh, this 
So there we have it. Those are both of the methods that I've kind of found that work really well for these shimmers from the Blood Sugar palette. Uh, I think I set a goal last month to really use this shade. I didn't do that this month, but I think I really can do that now that we're in quarantine and we're going to be in quarantine for at least another three weeks. So I have plenty of time to really sit with this palette, work with this palette, and I'm excited for, for what's going to come, honestly. I... I just want to say I am very privileged in that I have the ability to keep my normal 9 to 5 job and work completely remotely. If anything, we're actually busier than ever, so I, I am so happy and so privileged that not only do I have YouTube, I have my normal job. My heart and my thoughts go out to everyone who is on the front lines of this virus. I have several friends and family members who are directly affected by this, and uh, every day I wake up and I'm thankful that I'm able to self-quarantine, stay home, work from home, and continue to do YouTube. So I'm going to do my best to stick to my normal schedule, which is Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. And I just, I want, I don't want to ignore what's happening. But I also want this to be a safe space for anyone who really does want to continue watching my videos. So I have my current regular monthly videos like this update. I've got my shot my stash coming up soon. I'm going to do a B-Wow. But if there's any other videos you guys really want to see, please let me know down below because I actually have the time now. I'm, I'm basically home all the time. So I'm trying to think of what I've really wanted to do and film but just haven't had the time to. So I'm getting a bit more creative. I'm trying to do some different things but I also want to make things that you guys are really wanting to see. So please let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see during this time. So that is my full update. I'm doing really well so far and I, I can't wait to see what I'm going to be able to do in April. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.